What's up and welcome to Barton Makes Picks. I'm Barton Simmons. This is Trey Scott. This is our annual summertime journey through college football preseason prognostications, week by week, game by game. That uh, was a mouthful. You did a good job. Yeah, yeah, I, I am that. impressed by that. Well, look, it, it, this is, this is I, I've got my A game on right now because this is probably the toughest one of the summer I've done so far. Well, you just stole my segue. I was going to say, you did a good Carolina. job, and now you have the toughest schedule in college football to try to predict. What are you going to do? I don't know. I mean, it, it, not only is it the toughest schedule in college football in terms of the actual teams on the schedule, yeah. but in terms of a, a, a program that could overachieve, underachieve, this could be a wide spectrum of results. So, let's unfortunately, get, we got to get going. Let's get started. Yeah. North Carolina, week one in Charlotte. You've got Jake Bentley against maybe a true freshman, Sam Howe. Got all summer to prepare for this one. Yeah. So, if they're, you know, Given the schedule they've got this year, you this better game. win this one. So, W, 1-0. Charleston Southern. W, 2-0. Alabama in week three at williams Bryce. Uh, L, 2-1. Is I it mean, close? Look, I, I think that South Carolina is more equipped on the defensive line and on the offensive line to, to play with an Alabama team than maybe they would have been in the past. But they're not there. I mean, this is, this is one of the best Alabama teams we've seen, more than likely. Uh, that's a loss. Now you go to the other Columbia to face familiar foe Kelly Bryant in Missouri. I mean, this is one that I don't think South Carolina fans are going to like to hear me say, but this Missouri team is good. They've got a really good defensive front. They've got one of the better running backs in the SEC. And Kelly Bryant, I, I think, is at least a, 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 a peer and, and equal to, to Jake Bentley and might be better. And so uh, I, I think they're not going to like you. <laughs> let's. I, I think that on the road in Col in Columbia, Missouri, uh, I, I think this is a loss. I'm going to go two two. So the real Gamecock fans actually say this next game, Kentucky, is the must win. Kentucky has been Will Muschamp's bugaboo. I understand. And what, what, I don't know when was the last time they beat Kentucky. Don't like, know. Like, We'd have to look at the Phil Steele. It would. It would. It's. I, I don't. I don't think Phil Steele goes back that far. So, yes. Wow. I understand that. This is not a given to beat Kentucky. But they're going to beat them at some point. It has to be this year. <laughs> this has got to be the year. Yeah, if it's not, I don't know what to say. Yeah, if you're not going to beat Kentucky this year, South Carolina, then, uh, yeah, you're, you're in trouble. Phew. Three and two, by week, travel to Athens where the baby dogs have grown up. Well, remember last year's game? We oh, all, I remember we, it. we hyped it. We thought that might have been the year South Carolina was going to win it. Uh, it didn't. And I, I think... This is not the year either. No. Georgia wins. Three and three. Florida. This, this schedule is about to get ridiculous. Okay. So here's the good news. All right. It already was ridiculous. Sorry. Here's the good news. All these teams that look so, that look so challenging. Florida is one that I think South Carolina could pick off. Okay. They're getting them at home. Uh, I think South Carolina is, again, they're better equipped on the defensive line to handle a Florida offensive line that should take some time to get ironed out. Uh, I think you've got playmakers with guys like Brian Edwards on offense um, that can match up with that Florida secondary. Um, can Jake Bentley elevate against Felipe Franks, who's steadily That's improving? Good matchup. I, I think South Carolina actually wins this game. Four and three, they'll love you for that at Tennessee. Yeah, and, and that's not a, a, a great um, – bounce back game oh. right after that floor. I mean, I think Tennessee is going to be, and particularly on the road, I mean, that, that's going to be a tricky one. But I, I do think that tennis, South Carolina is further along than Tennessee is right now. Uh, I'm going to give South Carolina the win there, too. So at 5-3, and three, this is not going as poorly as I thought it would. Vanderbilt. Yeah, and I think they get Vanderbilt, too. So we're at 6-3, six and three, and I've... don't overlook Vanderbilt, though, because Vanderbilt has some players. we got at least three SEC or NFL talents on the offensive side of the ball, maybe four with the quarterback. Uh, but I think South Carolina can handle them. Appalachian State, new era for them. What do you think? Hey, I'd feel better about App State pulling that upset if Scott Satterfield was still there. Right. Not sure what to make of Eli Drinkwitz there um, in year one, so let's give it to South Carolina. 7-3. and three. This is really, really good. At Texas A&M. I don't think this is – I don't think this is a realistic one. I mean, it's a realistic one. Sure, they could win it. But when I look at this schedule and I look at the, the, the most realistic and least realistic wins, this is one of the ones I struggle with. Because I think Texas A&M, certainly by the end of the year, uh, at Kyle Field, um, Kellen Mond, I think at that point we should see real strides. We already saw it beginning last year. 
defensively, Mike Elko is going to have that bunch really ready to play. I think they lose here to to a and m Bye week. You know, Jake Finley did some damage against Clemson's secondary last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Talk it up. Yeah. I'm, could try, could convince me. I, I mean, I, I don't see it. I just don't see it. And and you got the two best teams on in the country on your schedule in Alabama and Clemson. Uh, Alabama is not even in your division. Clemson not in your conference. That is a tough, tough stretch. A tough schedule to manage. I think getting out alive at seven and five. Is uh, is plenty good enough for Will Muschamp heading into the next year? And they beat Kentucky. <laughs>